Also tonight, news affecting every member of the military. A security crackdown at bases across the nation, all from a growing threat by ISIS. The Pentagon increased the threat level to Bravo because of an overall heightened environment of terrorist activity. And with the number of bases here in our area, there's always a reason to watch out. Ten of your sides, Chris Horn is live now outside the world's largest Navy base in Norfolk with what this heightened security means. Chris? Yeah, Nicole, we're near gate five. I've seen in the past two hours from sitting here about 50 to 60 vehicles come through the checkpoint. A total of about four were physically searched, opened up. In some cases, they just wave the driver through. In other cases, they'll walk around the back. Maybe they're just checking the license plate. But we've seen a total of four, so they are doing some random searches here at gate five. The Defense Department says the heightened awareness is not attributable to any specific threat or event. However, it looks more like a generalized threat from the increased influence of ISIS on young people here in the United States. The U.S. Northern Command has just raised the protection level for all bases in North America to Bravo, up from Alpha. Bravo means the threat of terrorism has risen from possible to a level that's increased and predictable. The move comes hours after the head of the FBI said ISIS now has thousands of followers online here in the United States. The last time bases were at level Bravo was nearly four years ago, on the 10th anniversary of 9-11. Here's what force protection Bravo will mean for base personnel. More enforced control of entry, that means randomly searching vehicles, keeping cars and objects away from critical and high occupancy buildings to reduce bomb vulnerability. They'll secure and inspect buildings, rooms, and storage that is not in regular use, and they'll make regular plus random inspections of buildings that are in regular use for suspicious activity. In addition, they'll screen incoming mail for explosives. And we got an interesting statement today from a spokesman from Joint Base Langley Eustis. He said that random changes in the protection condition level like we have today and in base exercises are necessary and will become the new norm. The goal is to produce a discernible element of unpredictability about base security so the bad guys can't figure out what's going on. In short, we can expect more of Condition Bravo. Live at Naval Station Norfolk, Chris Horn, 10 on your side. There could be delays when you enter any bases now due to the possibility of searches. Here's a look through the tra wavy traffic jam cam of the approach to Naval Station Norfolk Gate 3. Now it backs up nearly every morning and with random searches now the backups could get worse. Jen Lewis and the rest of the Wavy News 10 Today team will be here Monday morning starting at 430 to help get you through any delays.